Uh, hey, I have a Yahoo. Okay. Uh, a few people sent this one in. Uh, it's an anonymous Yahoo Answers user who I'm going to call Yahoo David. Asks, how did the first parents know how to take care of their children? Wow. I mean, how do... How do parents now know how to take care of their children? Books, you know? internet, other parents that oh, have right. been doing it. Yeah, there's a lot of institutional knowledge out there, Travis. Songs, nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes. Daniel Tiger. Old books. Old books that are kind of more like what not to do. Like Bible is pretty much, there's a lot of stuff in Bible that is just like, hey, <laughs> not that, cautionary right. tale, don't do this one with baby. I, um, I bet there was a lot of like angels showing up. That first time around, God was like, mm-hmm. you're on your own. And then well, Adam and Eve had babies, and God was like, oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, wait. Do you go down there and tell them not to give them marbles or whatever? Right. There were a few babies before. God was just like, nope, they'll get it. They'll get it. They'll get it. Just calm they'll down. Get it. They're going to get it. All oh, right, they're not going to get it. Get down there. Oh, okay, Gabriel, oh, just I'm... real quick. Do you go down there and tell them to cook that food? Oh, oh please. It doesn't oh. Do you think that do you think that the first people, let's call them Adam and Eve, do you think that the first people who are the first parents, do you think that they maybe started to pretend they got it less than they did just so they could go on dates and shit? Like, <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I'd love to watch the kids tonight, Gabriel. Damn. Uh, let me just put them into the stove. No. no okay, uh, you're right. Damn it. Ah, uh, Okay, so we'll be at TGI Fridays. Here's the be- here's the hospital's number. In case you- <laughs> they would, I mean, it would be tough, right? Because it would be like, God has given us this great baby, and we love him so much. But God has also given us a tree stump with a perfectly baby-sized hole in it. So I think that that is like the storage unit. That yeah. we, I think that it right. d- it didn't come with baby, but I think I mean look at look thump, perfect fit like a perfect, perfect satisfying yeah. fit. So like if God didn't want us to jam our baby in this log and go out to uh, you know the cheesecake factory, then why is the hole that way? Mm, good point. Great point. Do you guys think that there was some point where the first people, the first parents, were like, you think this thing eats? I think that that is true. I'm more concerned about just baby just like poops on itself and the ground or whatever. And then the parents are like, hey, um, I know he's like little and stuff, but this baby is not cleaning his butt the way we all clean our butt. And it's pretty (laughs) fucked up if you ask me. It's gross, right? (laughs) It's gnarly, right? We can all agree that. Should we talk to him? Like when I do it, I go outside and we don't have TP yet, but you know, I'll use a big leaf. (laughs) And this baby doesn't even go outside. It doesn't, no, he does, right? He doesn't know how to use the clamshells. Nope. <laughs> I use the clamshells. We have these three shells that I use to clean my butt, and he doesn't use it, right? Yeah, he doesn't use mammoth bidet, where it blasts your butt with his uh, big gnarly trunk. And it's I mean, just it's like, a living. It's a living, but like, what? It, I think it's kind of rude, and I would, I would actually like to ask him to leave. Can you oh. go ask Fred Flintstone what he did to get his kid to use their bidet? I mean, Fred Flintstone's kid beats the shit out of him all the... Oh, wait, that's Barney's kid. No, that's Barney's kid beats yeah. the shit out of him all the time. Man, that's, that's rough. Fred's kid's got a serial deal. Yeah. She can't be seen to yeah. doing that kind of thing. 